Previously on Virginia Football, the building of a program. You know he's going to match him. I mean, you got this throw. You ready? What's up, boy? I'm out. Like, I'm ready to put these pads on. <laughs> One more day till camp, baby. Definitely excited. Um, you know, it's been a long summer, hard, hard uh, work. And, you know, just, I'm just ready for it to pay off. Yes, sir. Pass is the pass. That was in. This is now. The fields are empty, but the workday has begun. The Virginia Cavaliers are tasked with rebuilding a football program that won just three games the previous season, ranked at the bottom of the ACC in offense. Beginning a new chapter starts with a new playbook, and it's up to offensive coordinator Bill Lazor to make sure that every player is on the same page. Come on now, you guys got to work together. Everyone has to understand. Quarterbacks. You've heard us say, everyone in the room's heard us say, the motion man's responsible for where to be. But you have to have awareness, QB. You got to let him get down there. The play has no chance right there. No chance for the play to happen because we didn't get the, the, the formation and the motion right. It's not acceptable. Okay, you had all day. You got it the night before. You had all day to study the formations and where you're supposed to be. We had a walkthrough before practice. We did this whole exact script on air and taught the distance that we wanted him to be. There's no excuse. You got to take the responsibility to learn. Missed alignments and missed assignments will beat us, not mismatches. Coach Lazor is responsible for turning around the offense and developing an unproven quarterback core. That's it. Get that head turn. Remember, you don't have to drive out, so really get your head turned to see the whole area. Mark Verica is the only quarterback on the roster with college game experience but the unquestioned starter has yet to answer just how far he can carry the team. Well, the good news is Rodney McLeod just came up with an interception. The bad news is Mark Verica just threw an interception. Verica hasn't looked comfortable this afternoon. There just haven't been too many completions, and the problem being when there have been, it's been to the Orange team, unfortunately. Mark knows he's accountable to every ball that he throws, and, and that's the way it should be. I mean, you got to be accountable. Quarterback has to be accountable for the ball because you touch it 100% of the time. But you, you can see there's some throws that Mark has made that has been right on the money. You know, talk about making the making the, those window throws or making the quick throws to get the ball out to playmakers. So he's done a great job of doing that thus far. But you know, like I said, he's a work in progress too. Coach Laser has his work cut out. After the fifth year senior, Virginia has only freshmen at quarterback. Let's go back one more time. Mike, go again. It's probably going to be a very big challenge. It's very difficult to get four quarterbacks reps. Almost impossible to get five quarterbacks reps. We have six. The numbers drop when freshman Jake McGee realizes that his future is not under center. Jake, I'm 43. How you doing? You all right? Yeah. What did you, what did you, what did you, uh, what did you tell Coach? I just, I mean, I just thought it would be best for me just because there's a lot of people there, and I thought they were doing better, better jobs, picking it up faster. Yeah. I just think for me personally, I would help. You weren't going to help us this year at quarterback. No, I know, I didn't. Yeah, and so I think um, down, down the road, I could help more at tight end. I, I, I tight certainly think you can. Coach Laser is still left with a lot of red jerseys and green quarterbacks. Quick seven, quick seven, Miles. A tall task to teach. Miles, that's as tall as we got. You got to bring it down. That's as tall as we got. Deeper. Get deeper with that first step. Get deeper. What's the formation? Queen left zip. What's the play? Queen left low zip. What's the play? Get in the huddle. Get in the huddle. We called it wrong. Ross, hop in the huddle. He called the play wrong. The thing that sticks out to me about them is that they want to get better and they want to learn. They're very observant and they pay attention in meetings and um, they look to me and ask me questions out on the field when, when they're not sure. No, it's not necessarily weak or strong. It's wherever the protection is. So if it's jet right, you have the, the mic and the, I mean, you have the, then we have Mike and Sam. The back is Mike and Sam. If they both come, we can't pick both of them up so they're hot. And then on the, on the left, then if the safety comes, you have a sight adjust. Those are good signs. So. Um, I'm sure when I'm done playing here, there's going to be a lot of competition at that position. 
Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Throw it, someone will catch it. Working a little slow, QBs. I'm concerned about our tempo. Offensively, I think there's a lot of things we're trying to work on. Above all, I think we're just trying to increase the tempo of everything. Quick and easy. Flip that hip through and then get it right back. And then we're trying to play fast. Easy gripping the ball, very nice. Everyone get a football. We're sprinting. Ready? Get a ball, Mark. Go, go. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Ball's in the 20. Sprint, sprint. Come on, Mike Rocco, you can go faster. Throw it out there with air. Go, sprint, 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 sprint. Can we throw when we're tired? We throw at the end. Come on, Ross. You need to take strength in the legs. And then we're just trying to focus on the little things. Everything's attention to detail because those are the things that, that separate the great teams from the good teams. Nice job. Nice window. Nice catch. Hey, that's how you catch the ball in traffic. That's a good start. That's a start. Very fast. Oh, yeah. Catch and go, TFT. Hey, you're playing just the right rhythm right now. Okay, we're in trio. Tiger right zip. Scat right, 871 F swing. Right and hot. Go, cover, 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 cover. All the way, finish, Mark, finish. Come on. Come on now, here's the story. How's the offense respond to their first intercept at camp? We went four days, finally had one. How do we respond? Who picks it up now? First intercept, now we're done, right? Back to the same route, all right. I got no problem in practice with a guy throwing a four route and zipping it in there and it getting picked. Because we can go in the film room and fix it. And that's why you practice. You got to figure out when can I get it in the window and when I can't. I. Got to figure out what it looks like, a seven route that's completable against cover two. Got a major problem with when things break down and I'm scrambling out of the pocket and things have gone bad and now I throw the ball up for an interception. I got, we got a major problem with that. Okay, it's never going to be acceptable. We're counting on you to be the guy to make things right when things go wrong, not to make them worse. You understand that? Okay? So that's a lesson for everyone to learn. We never accept that when things go wrong, your job is to make them right. Hey, we're going forward now, and we're keeping the pressure on. That's how you get strong. Who's got us? Cut it loose on three. One, two, three. Cut it loose. I think we have a, a community that's great. It's a community that's hungry for a winner. And that is an ideal time to come in. I've been a part of a program wherever I've been that has turned it around and become successful. I may be biased, but I don't think there's anything sweeter than being part of taking a program, lifting it up to another level, and enjoying that success, and in the process, doing it the right way. to think of football as a game of offense versus defense, but there is a third dimension that can change a game in a single play, special teams. Take a look at the depth chart, pull it down to the punt real quick. The only change of the punt, Luke, you went with the ones yesterday right in the shield, you'll stay right there. All right, Castro, you over here on the right shield at the tools, right? Now, Chris, all right, you see where you at? You're the left shield, all right? So when you hear punt, you'll come with me. All right, now I'll get you all schooled up on that. But I want good solid reps, everybody get on tape. There's a lot of guys in this punt team that we want to take a good look at. All right, a lot of guys. All right, coach came to me before this meeting, want to know who our core guys are right now. All right, we're trying to find more core special teams guys that can do more than one thing at the game. All right, so a lot of, a lot of what happened today and on these special teams is going to dictate who on the bus when we go to the game. For y'all young boys that don't understand, the whole team don't pile up on the plane when we leave to go on a, a plane trip. So understand it. If you're going to be at the game and you're not a start on offense or defense, these special teams is the way to go. All right? Four-phase special teams player. Any questions about how this thing will go today? 
many players, special teams is the best way to earn a spot on the travel squad. Everybody want to be on that plane to Southern Cal, right? Huh? It's 105 out here, about 70 going. So let's go. The guys is on the border. This is the day you're going to get on the plane or be watching it on uh, Comcast TV, all right? Coach Poindexter brings the same nonstop intensity to the field that helped him become one of the greatest players in Virginia football history. Come on, y'all got to be ready on the drop of a dime, baby. Come on, you got to be ready on the drop of a dime. Good, Justin, come on, Justin, be the hammer, not the nail. Come on, come on, come on, come up, come up, come up. Good, put him up. Good job, come on, Justin, be the hammer, not the nail, son. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, field goal. Special teams is no different than any other position in football. Success begins with fundamentals. Hit! Good, right? Hey, Kev, you can't be moving the feet, baby. You can't be stepping back. That's how they look. Y'all watch the tape. Everybody's feet moving. All right? You got to be boom, boom. All right? Boom. Hit! Here we go. Now, hey, hey, you got to get a better stance. All right? Better stance. So it's going to be cocked in because you got to step inside, right, Paulie? Y'all got to step inside, so it's boom. See what I'm saying? Just a slight six-inch step, boom. When they come, it'll be fast paced. You're going to shoot right here, step right here. All right, here we go. Hit, punch, good, Keith, good. Good, you feel that, Keith? All right, now that's just going to be his chest plate. All right, it's going to be his chest plate. All right, you done threw your punches. All right, Keith, in order for him to block it, he got to come right over you right here. If he go any further out, he can't get on the block point. You feel me? All right, good. Let's go, get lined up, field goal team. Get in a good stance here, Bobby. Start with the stance, baby. Here we go. Get lined up, Kevin. Bobby, arm this away. You too tight. Arm this, there you go. Arm this is away. Come on, pound it through, pound it through, pound it through, pound it through. Good, there you go. Ah. There you go, Rod. Go, good, right there. Let's go, bounce out, let's go. Come on, tempo. Tempo, tempo, tempo. All right, block what you see. Who blocked it? My gate, that's you again. In 2009, special teams was an area that burned the Cavaliers. But for a squad trying to rebuild, special teams can also provide the spark that ignites a turnaround. At a team meeting with representatives from the ACC, Virginia players learn how NCAA rule changes for the 2010 season will affect every team in the country. One of the big emphasis that the NCAA and the American Football Coaches Association have put together is about sportsmanship. What the media refers to as excessive celebration. And the key part of the rule that, that I want to show in this film is any player who has any delayed prolonged, excessive, or choreographed act by which he draws attention to himself is a foul. That's unsportsmanlike. And why it's so important, you have a big scoring play and you do one of those fouls, hand of the ear for recognition, shush in the crowd, salute, first down, all those things that go with that, you're gonna kick off from your 15 yard line. Beginning in 2011, if you commit that foul before the touchdown is scored, the touchdown will come off the board. You go back to the spot where the foul occurred and be penalized 15 yards. We'll go ahead and run through these real quick. Here's the first one, diving into the end zone unopposed. All right, leaps at about the two. Next year, that touchdown would come off the board and you go back and penalize. Here's one from right here, right here in Virginia. Watch, watch this up here in the stands. There you go, 15 yards. And here's one we can argue about. This is up at Army, end of the play, gets up and gives a little first down signal. That's not much, but that's a foul. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that's a foul. All right, let me close with one final note. Whether we agree with this or not, these are rules that are supported by the American Football Coaches Association because it is a team sport, and that's all this is directed at, trying to make you celebrate all you want, but do it as a team. Training camp is football, 24-7, sun up to sun down. But at Fry Spring Beach Club, the Cavaliers come together for some much-deserved relaxation and team bonding. Even at a pool party, there's still competition. 
with the team divided into offense versus defense, the cannonball contest begins. It's O-line versus D-line. Running backs versus linebackers. Defensive back versus receiver. With weight classes even, it's all about technique. I think they measured it by how much water came out. But you know, offense, we always win whatever between offense and defense. Next up, the relay race. The reward? A reprieve from running in the morning. Suddenly, the stakes are higher. Everybody think they can swim, but some people can't swim as well as others. So we had a couple guys out there in the doggy paddle at the end. So it's just all fun and games. The race is won by the offense. Tomorrow, they'll enjoy their reward. But tonight, the team reaps the reward of time well spent. This community is hungry for a winner. When we had some big wins, when the crowd got behind it, if you come in here and see what this place is like, it's a basketball first arena. It's all geared towards basketball. It's daunting. I've played in Madison Square Garden. I've been in the NBA playoffs. I've played in major college venues, and I haven't seen one that's as nice and as imposing and as rowdy as John Paul Jones Arena. I'm a caretaker and I'm a servant because I serve the student athletes in which I'm in charge of and the coaches and their families. I'm a caretaker of this university's reputation in the academic and athletic arenas. But I want everyone to know that I can't do this by myself. I need the help of the fans, the students. I need the help of the community, the administration, coaches and players. I need the help of everyone. Any building must begin with a great foundation, and the foundation of any football team is the offensive line. Offensive plays are all about timing, and linemen provide time to make those plays. The line of scrimmage is a hard, ugly place, but blocking is an art form. Really need to work the bump block. I'm looking on the uh, half line yesterday. Really need to come down on the bump block. I think our footwork's a little messed up with the guard in the center. You're coming down an angle more, I'd like you to slide that inside foot over and more of a double team up to get to the Mike linebacker. We'll work, work, work that this morning. When you're setting down on a, a shade when, on pass pro, you're coming down and uh, you, can, you can keep your inside, your post foot forward, but just to help you out, when the center's giving you a little punch, you're going to be here, take a six inch step right here and immediately get behind the center a little bit. And get your, get, keep your post foot up and get your other foot back. That, that will help you on the pass. But see, a couple times yesterday, we got we got angled a little bit. You know, a shoulders return a little, and it's tough coming down. You, you come down with your post foot, and sometimes center leaves you, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the guy's on, on your shoulder, and it's a it's a bear getting back on him. So it's going to help you out a little bit if you're coming down with a six-inch step, and immediately get your get your post foot up and your back foot back, and you're good you're good football position again. That's going to help you out. It's day five. And for the first time, the gloves are off and the pads are on. The first practice in full gear is the first chance to separate the men from the boys.
offensive line coach Ron Mattis, opening running lanes starts with open lines of communication. Hey, hey, no, 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 we got to verbalize. Even though you hit your, even though you hit, that's the right call. You got to tell them, baby. Okay, okay. Set, move 40. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, remember, I'm only giving the inside hand. Yeah. Baker, Baker, Baker. Way to keep your eyes up, yo. Number 72, Ode Abushi, enters camp as the Cavaliers' new starting right tackle. Talented sophomore possesses size and athleticism, but his skills are unproven, having played in only six games. His development will be a key to the success of the offense. I'm up. Come up here, Jose. Come up here, Jose. You got the spotlight, baby. You got the spotlight, Jose. That's it. That's it. Abushi's competition at right tackle is steep, literally. At six foot six, 350 pounds, Morgan Moses is a mountain of a young man, a high school All-American and one of the highest rated recruits in the nation. Bury him, Mo. Bury him, Mo. What up, Mo? 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 For all its size, fury, and savagery. Blocking is a dance. Strength is an important thing, but footwork is everything. What up, baby? Hip toss. Yo, what up, baby? Abushi and Morgan are both talented young players willing to put in the extra work to get better. Both are expected to play an important role in the future of the Cavaliers. Boys on three. One, two, three. Big boys. A hard day's work ends with hard-earned rest. Bed check is one of the hallmark images of training camp. Tonight, it's defensive coordinator Jim Reed's turn to make sure that every player is in his room by 11 o'clock. How you doing? Was this a big quarterback room? Huh? Are we the last on your list? No, you're the first. The first? Yeah. It's good to have everybody together in a controlled environment, away from other people. And, and really, there's nothing else to focus on other than football and what we need to do to prepare to have a successful season. Come out here, Rocco. Get Come a shot of the, the young guy. Come out here, Rocco. Come here. Come here. So <laughs> this is the future. Yeah, this is, oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. See, now people can look at who they're going <laughs> to boo, you know what I mean, and clap for. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You all set the big phone? Yeah, man. Yeah, okay. Bed check is also a chance for coaches to connect with their players. I like bed check. That's a great time to tease the players and just chat with them a little bit. The first night I started at 10.30, I don't think I got done until 11.20. It's just a lot of fun talking to these guys. These are great, great young men that we have here. Who's in here? Is that you, man? Huh? Bobby and Keys. You awake, Bobby? Hey, Bobby, are you awake? <laughs> yeah. How do I know that's just not a bunch of pillows there? That's Bobby right there. Bob, dude. All right, OK. I'm surprised you room with him after what he said about you behind your back. Oh, man. Yeah, I can't believe it. All right, All right Chris, have a good yeah, night. Really, really two great kids. Is Bird Green? Jerry Green? I, I can see where you, where you didn't get a chance to pick your roommate. I'm trial. You in there? All right. And my favorite receiver, Tim Smith. How are you? Who's that? Snyder? Matt? My favorite receiver. I like all you guys. But, but you guys, I like more than others. I just lied to the other guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be listening next door. All right, we'll see you later.
Another long day is over. Longer days lay ahead. But for the Virginia Cavaliers, these are the days that will lay the foundation in the building of a program. Next time on Virginia Football, the building of a program.